another day and over there we'll come back to the channel everybody today we're watching the big bang theory this is the 14th episode of the 30s and hope you guys have been enjoying it so far if you like to watch today's full episode this is available for free in the link in the description below just clicking it put a password in and enjoy so last episode we had the um, the apartment burgled yes Somebody broke into Sheldon and Len's apartment, stole all of the things, all the electronics, you know, the computers, the TVs, the Nintendos, the Playstations, the Xboxes, but they left the comics. Now, interestingly, you know, Leonard seemed to be okay with everything that was kind of going on. Obviously, he's not happy with being burgled, but he filed a report with the police. It was Sheldon that went to the extreme. Now, I don't really blame him. I was saying in the last episode that... Basically, everybody deals with things in different ways. And if I uh, lived in a place and somebody come in and they stole my things and, um, you know, I'd feel uncomfortable and unsafe being in an apartment or a house where I know that somebody else has come in uninvited and obviously come in and obviously is taking my stuff. Leonard was spending his time really with Penny, not really acting like anything of much change, where Sheldon was obviously panicking, he's getting intruder alarms, he's had the electrocution nets, he had infrared cameras, you know, CCTV, he had um, his door, it was like a fingerprint and facial scanner, he went to the extremes, didn't it? and you could see that he was panicking and really, really scared, but at the end of the episode, he decided, you know what, this place is not for me anymore, I'm moving away, uh, decided to change states, as soon as he turned up into a different state, he got burgled, again, decided, you know what, sack it mate, I'm going back home, so, this is like uh, the third time we've seen him actually leave where he's currently living and return after one episode, so that was quite funny as well, but I'm excited to see what we're doing today, if you do enjoy it, please smash the like, it really helps out, subscribe if you're new, and as always, let's jump into today's episode. <laughs> He looks like he's got a classic bed head. What you doing? I'm attempting to view my work as a fleeting peripheral image so as to engage the superior colliculus of my brain. Up all night? Is it morning? Yes. Then I've been up all night. Honey, I told you, if you don't put him in his crate at night, he just runs around the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for the alligator that swallowed his hand after Peter Pan cut it off. <laughs> Captain Hook's hand was eaten by a crocodile, not an alligator. <laughs> You're going to mock me, at least get your facts straight. Maybe you need a fresh start. <laughs> Imagine that. That could technically be like a, an assault, couldn't it? Imagine somebody walking past and having a white ball fly down and ping off the head. Now, I was looking at them there, actually, you know, getting up in the morning with the dressing gowns on and just walking into the kitchen for a coffee, which is fine. But it got me thinking about me. I don't know what you do in the mornings, but, like, literally, people think it's weird, like, but as soon as I wake up, I literally just get dressed, full on clothes instantly. So like, it could be 7 a.m., 6 a.m., 10 a.m., doesn't matter. You know, I wake up from my sleep, get out of bed straight away, bathroom, have a wash, get my clothes on, done, ready for the day. Where people seem to lounge around, get the dressing gown. I don't even own the dressing gown. I don't see the point in them. Just put your clothes on. You know what I mean? But whatever is, it's. I'd be interested to see what people do. Is anybody like me just gets up and gets dressed, or is it people sit around, lounge around in PJs and dressing gowns all day? Electrons move through graphene, act as if they have no mass. Have you tried rebooting him? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a firmware problem. Hey, it's disco night at the Moonlight Roller Rink in Glendale tonight. Who's up for getting down? Bernadette's been hawking me to take her roller skating. I think Penny likes to skate. The four of us could double. It's not like I brought it up because I wanted to go. <laughs> I know, isn't it? Oh, he's really gone, isn't he? Yeah, this morning he used a stick of butter as deodorant. I thought I smelled popcorn. Hey, those are my lima beans. Not lima beans, carbon atoms. You don't have any school. Have to eat first? Good. P.F. Chang's, my mom has coupons. Oh, great. <laughs> Your mom's not coming, right? Not this time, I promise. <laughs> You know what, right? I actually feel sorry for Raj. He is absolutely third wheeling. And you know what? He's not third wheeling by kind of choice either. It's kind of like he's... It's a classic example. You know, friends get in a relationship and just literally forget that they've got existing friends that they've always been hanging around with. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I do feel sorry for him. He used to always chill with Howard. He was, he was always stuck together. Every time... One was in the scene, the other one was in the scene. And now Howard's got, obviously, a female. It's leaving him on his own. And to be honest, he seems like a guy that likes to be outdoors and adventurous as well. He's always asking, should we go here and there and do this and do that? And it's always, yeah, we shall, but I'll take the girls. And then he's left on his own. So I actually do feel sorry for him. I don't know which was lemur. They're roller skating or they're disco dancing. For me, the worst part was when people saw us leave with them. You had some nice moves out there, Howard. <laughs> Thanks. 
see you too. Yeah, did you notice all the people looking at us? <laughs> Not really, I was in my boogie zone. Hey, show there. <laughs> oh my God, are you <laughs> <laughs> Lord, you're ruining everything. Oh, damn. Are you okay? Do I look okay? Don't bark at me, I fell too. No, you've been falling all night, you're used to it. <laughs> Sheldon, when was the last time you got any sleep? I don't know, two, three days, not important. I don't need sleep, I need answers. What happens to our neuroreceptors when we don't get enough REM sleep? They lose their sensitivity to serotonin and norepinephrine. So march in there, brush your teeth, and go to bed. Uh. I'm gonna count to three. One. Oh, all right. <laughs> you know how to deal with stubborn children. My mother used to run an illegal daycare center in our basement. <laughs> but the thing is, right, as well, I've said this many times when I was doing my degree, is that like sometimes you can sit here and write your essay for so long, yeah, you think, oh, that's great, it's all sound, and you're tired and you don't see anything wrong with it, but then you go back and come back the next day and read through it, and you're like, bloody hell, like I missed that full stop, do you know what I mean? Like, how have I spelt that word wrong? You've never seen it at first because you're late, you know what I mean? Like, you're so tired, but you're so focused and you want to get it done, like, you, you miss all, you don't see all the obvious things. Get some rest, come back, mind's cleared, you can see it all. Leonard, you're, you're giggling in your sleep. Not me, it's my new ringtone. Creeps me out. Me too, but I paid three bucks for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm Leonard Hofstetter. All right, all right, I'll be right there. What happened? Sheldon's escaped and is terrorizing the village. Okay, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> In it, that's not Betty's problem, uh, see you problem. Hofstetter. Where is he? Ball pit. What's he doing? Size ratio was all wrong. Couldn't visualize it. Need a bigger carbon atoms. <laughs> You can start sorting protons and neutrons while I build carbon atoms. No, I don't think so. We need to go home now. I like Leonard's hair like this compared to how it was slipped back. Come here! Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. 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 <laughs> I have good news. And you had to barge in here and wake us up in the middle of the night? We Your cell phone it. was off. Because we didn't want to be disturbed. And that didn't work out, did it? <laughs> Sheldon, what do you want? I came to tell you, I've got the answer. Oh. <laughs> Einstein. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little more. When Albert Einstein came up with special relativity, he was working at the patent office. Going to find a similarly menial job where my basal ganglia are occupied with a routine task, freeing my prefrontal cortex to work quietly in the background on my problem. Well, by the way, I was watching you sleep for a moment, and I noticed that your snoring seems to be worse when you're on your back. Uh, Leonard doesn't snore. No, I wasn't talking to Leonard. <laughs> you're looking for a job. A menial job. Like yours. So how about construction? Oh, that would be good. Just sawing, hammering, eating out of a lunch pail as my working class fellows and I sit perched precariously on a girder high above the metropolis. No, no, this is putting up sheetrock at a housing project in Rosemead. One question. Yes? What sheetrock? What sheetrock? <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. Moving on. What was your last job? Senior theoretical particle physicist at Caltech focusing on M theory, or in layman's terms, string theory. It'd be a good teacher, I reckon. Behind you. Oh, no way, is he working there? Sheldon, what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to get these tables cleared. We're slammed. You just, you just walked in and they hired you? Just like that? Oh, heavens no. Since I don't need to be paid, I didn't need to be hired. I simply came in, picked up a tray, and started working for the man. Wait, this isn't even what I do. I'm a waitress, not a busboy. You're right. That is more menial. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sheldon. I'll be your server today. <laughs> I don't recommend the salmon. I saw it in the kitchen. The thing is, though, right, I know that he's obviously not got um, the rights to be there and doing the position that he was doing. It's just kind of like, do you remember when he went to go and buy Leonard a present for his birthday and he ended up obviously helping all the customers there? He was on the machines and he knew everything that was kind of going on. And they kind of escorted him out. But if you worked in an establishment and somebody could come in and they could do it well, you know, he could come up, 
clean the tables, take the serving, and he, you know, he wasn't doing a poor job of it, willing to do it for free as well, you know, most people would probably hire as an internship, do you know what I mean, or an apprenticeship or something like that, you know, even volunteer work, you know, people would absolutely love people coming in, willy-nilly, do jobs successfully and not get paid, that's like a owner's dream, isn't it, so... Be interesting to see, obviously, if uh, if and how long he does it for. Chicken cheeseburger, breaking two Jewish dietary restrictions simultaneously. <laughs> Battered fish and chips. Now, dirty burrito grande. No Black beans, not pinto beans. Yes. Double guacamole. Of course. No cilantro. Nope. Lettuce shredded, not chopped. Yep. You understand why I'm doing this to you? I do. That'll be all. Sorry, you had to wait, but we are swamped. Uh, Sheldon took our order. Sheldon doesn't work here. Well, uh, honey, not to complain, but we were starting to think you didn't either. Hey. Is that really necessary? It solves the it. interference pattern in the fracture. It's a wave! <laughs> a moment to applaud would be now. Sheldon, where are you going? Aren't you going to clean this up? Well, I'm sorry, I don't work here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see him dancing. <laughs> Happy now? I'm on a cloud. <laughs> Happy for that ending, to be honest. For them two, anyway. Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. Do you reckon that was an outtake? As in, like, you know, they're just not supposed to happen. It's not really part of the episode, but, like, it was good banter, to be honest. He was doing really well. To be honest, I was thinking that he was moving through them balls pretty quick, to be honest. And I couldn't really see where he was actually sliding as well. So, he was actually doing it good. I reckon that was just, like, they thought that was too good to not put in. Do you know what I mean? Um, which, actually, I like that, to be honest. I was, do you know what I'd absolutely love? It's, like, at the end of, like, each episode, which would never happen... Uh, or the end of the season, they do like a blooper reel. Now, I know that you could probably get a blooper reel, like you could probably get it on the DVDs, or people would have posted it on YouTube. Uh, we tend to do that sometimes, actually, on the channels when we watch different shows. Like, people say, watch this and this and this, and we do the bonus content onto the, onto the Patreon. Because uh, it is hilarious, actually, watching the outtakes and stuff like that. I remember doing the Vampire Diaries on the channel, and it was a scene that people didn't even know existed. And they obviously said he was loving it when I put it at the end of the video, you know. Especially when you record it off a YouTube video, you could literally post the whole thing, like 30 minutes long, because it's already uploaded and approved. So, it is good. Uh, also, I actually was happy with the ending bit with Raj and Howard going out. Howard didn't really look like he was uh, he was loving it that much. Like, he was spending time with uh, Raj dancing around at the, the skating ring, but I did. You know, he's been left on his own all season, to be honest. I kind of feel a little bit sorry for him, I'm not going to lie. And also, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but on TikTok... There is, uh, like, some rollerblade old men or whatever. I don't even know. That's definitely not what they're called. But basically, if you search it in, there's a group of people, like, old men who are in, like, the 60s or something who, like, go to, like, roller discos and they all go in a line like a, a lad's night out. And they're all there and they're dancing and they're doing it and they move so slick and, obviously, they're just loving it. And, oh, it's sick, honestly. It's really good. So if you get a chance, check them out, mate. Search it on TikTok. I don't know what you would search. Search old men skating or something. <laughs> no idea, but... Uh, it's really fun. And also, my balance is shocking. If I put a pair of roller skates on and went outside, I'd be on my ass instantly. I can't roller skate. I can't uh, ice skate. At Christmas times when everyone's doing it and you've got the Christmas trees up, I'm, all, I'm there with a little penguin or something trying to keep the balance. I think it's impossible, honestly. I have no idea how people keep the balance. Okay, that is going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Kind of another Sheldon-centred episode, um, which I don't mind. We had quite a lot of them in the early seasons. Now, we're kind of spread out. We're using most of the cast, you know. Um, and I'm actually more happy about that, you know, like everybody else getting involved. And I feel like the first season was majority Leonard and Sheldon. It was revolved around them. And obviously, as we progress through, everybody else has been introduced a little bit more, which makes the show so much better. But we had another one in today's episode. He was struggling to do his work, you know, started spiralling out, going in different jobs. To be honest, I was saying that, you know, it'd be good for a restaurant person or whatnot, for somebody volunteering, coming in, doing the work. They'd have no problems for it if he was doing it correct until he dropped something, plate smashed, realised what he was doing and backed out and left Penny to clean up. As well, though, we took the orders really well. And uh, I actually like how uh, Leonard gave him a taste of kind of like his own medicine when he was sitting there. Has he got this, 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 this and this? Yeah, done it right you know at least um you know Sheldon got it right usually Leonard gets it wrong doesn't he 
Penny nearly got it right as well when she actually bought the takeaway. Do you remember that time? But then she got the sauce wrong and think it was. So she was close, but yeah, so far away. Another thing as well is I'm loving the fact that Bernadette, even though she only made like a mini cameo or whatnot, like played a role in the episode and actually sent Sheldon to bed. <laughs> you know, I just feel like it's good that we're getting somebody in and I feel like she could be a good character. You know, at first I thought she looked like she would be a bit boring, if I'm being totally honest. But ever since then, we give her a few lines here and there. Um, she's actually grown on me. So I'm excited to see obviously more of her as well thanks for checking out today's episode hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you do and as always i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys